Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. I've got kind of a variety of smaller jobs to do today. I'm just gonna take take you guys along for the ride. I've got some scrap metal to haul off. I heard scrap metal prices are way up and we had a bunch of it back here so I piled it up. I'm gonna take it off, see if I get anything that's worth the time. Then I had a customer call that has some really large stumps down near a pond and it sounds like it could be one of the more lucrative jobs that I've taken. So I'm gonna go bid that job. And that customer also has a bunch of large rounds that they're looking to give away because they can't process it. And so I'm gonna take those rounds. I'll show you guys the stumps, um, show you what I bid them, and kind of talk about if it's gonna be worth it to even haul these rounds off. Now I've already told him I'll do it. But huge diameter rounds are hard to process. And, you know, I like to split firewood, but it's questionable whether or not it's worth it on those largest sizes. But, should be an interesting day. Hopefully I get the stump grinding job and I do that at the start of next week. So, let's get rolling. Right as I was leaving to haul off this scrap metal, I saw Buck and Billy Ray has a new video today about how to split large rounds. So maybe I'll watch that before I go pick mine up and see if he's got anything that makes this easier. Right. I think these rounds I'm going to get are really big. So we'll see when we get there. All right, so I just pulled off the scales. Let me see what my weight is. Be 1,400 pounds, $93. I really don't think it's worth it to me to drive around and scrounge up other people's scrap to haul off, but when you got junk on your own property that you just need rid of, $93 just to drive this over here feels like a good use of my time. So, now I'm gonna go drop the empty trailer off at the customer's house and go get the tractor. All right, so I've got the trailer parked here, getting ready to disconnect it. These are the rounds I'm picking up. This isn't all of them, but I'd say that what's setting right here will be most of a load in the dump trailer. There's one of the bigger ones. These aren't quite as big as I thought they were, but they'd still be pretty heavy to lift by hand. This guy does split firewood, the property owner, but he just didn't feel like messing with the largest of the rounds because he doesn't have his own hydraulic splitter. Over here are some more that I've got the option to pick up. It'll all just depend on how much room I have in the bed of the dump trailer. This is a really nice property that we actually looked at before we moved because it's got access to this really nice pond in the backyard but you're still in town. The only thing that I didn't really care for was that we didn't have enough room to have a shop the size I wanted. So the stumps are around on the back side of this pond. There's a bunch of stumps back here. One of them is just ridiculously huge. I don't even know if I would take it on, but that's not what the customer's wanting done. There's two stumps that he had me bid that actually look almost like a cluster of stumps. But it's probably just one tree that it branched out in three directions. I put a bid of $400 on the whole thing. Straight ahead is that massive one that I was talking about. But right here are the ones that I put the bid on. See, it looks like three fairly small trees or four or five fairly small trees all in one cluster. So basically, I don't know what I'm getting into. It could be really easy, or depending what's at the center of that, it could be a difficult job. So I won't know till I get into it whether or not I bid it well. And here's another average size stump, but he wasn't asking about that one. And then finally, this is the monster. And I was glad that he didn't ask me for a price on it. 
But he took my bid, and I'll be doing this job at the start of next week, and I'll have a video on that. All right, so I got the dump trailer dropped off. I ran a couple errands and I'm back at the house. I was originally debating between taking the tractor in the dump trailer and having the grapple in the truck bed or dumping off the dump trailer and coming back for the, my equipment trailer or how I wanted to do it. What I finally decided was to drop the dump trailer off and just drive the tractor to the property. I think it's like seven miles and I don't know, I think that'll take 20 to 30 minutes to drive but compared to loading, driving, and unloading, it's probably about the same, so it's just a matter of which I would rather do. So, I'm gonna get the box blade on and use that as my ballast. I've already got the grapple on, and then I'll just head down the road. So, catch up with you in a second. All right, so I said I was gonna take the box blade as a ballast, but I decided to bring the weight box instead, so that if I need to move the trailer, I've got a hitch on there, so. It weighs a little bit less, I think, than the box blade, but it should do just fine for a ballast, so. That's the setup on it. Um, it's all back roads between here and there, so should be a nice, relaxing ride.
All right, so we have a full dump trailer load. The trailer's seven by 12. If this was split firewood that was loose thrown in there, it would be one cord level across the top. Now this is bigger chunks, it has gaps in it, but it's mounted over the top. So it's probably, I'm guessing, just a little under a cord of firewood. That's worth $220, $250, somewhere in that range in this area. And it's a mix of a couple different kinds kinds of wood. I saw some black walnut. I saw some ash. It's all going to split and be used. So, you know, I want to do firewood, so it's worth it to me. On the dollars and cents, figuring up all your equipment, wear and tear, and your time, and your drive time, and everything else, I mean, you've got to be the judge of it yourself. It took me, with dropping the trailer off and going back to get it, and loading and everything it took me two or three hours to get this wood picked up and brought home so anyway I had a good time today I have a ton of mowing to do I may put the deck on the tractor tonight because we finally had enough dry weather that I can knock down some of this high grass but I'm gonna dump this unhook the dump trailer and then get some mowing done but I appreciate you watching this video in just a minute you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.